Hi, welcome to another uh, analog and mixed signal class. So in this class, we are going to show you how to bring the schematic design, the analog design into Synopsis Custom Compiler, the same design that was given in the Cadence uh, Virtuoso and ADE can be simulated, <coughs> excuse me, in the custom compiler as well because the database is the open source. So it is the data is transparent both in the Virtuoso as well as in the Synopsis custom compiler. So should have a custom compiler in your path. The path setting will be given in the list. Uh, in the description and one more thing is the uh, synopsis custom compiler uses lib.bis file instead of cds.lib the setting everything is remain the same you can see the solution the demo the, the, everything is same like define solutions define demo and all the other libraries are same okay so i will quit this one so how do you start a custom compiler it is simple just type custom underscore compiler right so the menu uh, the user interface is is almost like analog design environment custom compiler to have a library manager when you type custom compiler it will come up with these many tools the very very beginning you can start from the library manager and go to the demo then go to mix signal sorry go to the inverter to test then open as schematic okay so it will open up this this is schematic from here go to tools esae okay this will bring a, a, a setup environment similar to ade like virtuous so ade it, it look and feel everything let's say right then go to setup mm, simulator you need to select the simulator Find sim is from the synopsis, its space is also from the synopsis, custom sim is from them. Find sim VCS, VCS EMS, LDO is from uh, Siemens, AFS is from Siemens, AFS Spectre is from Siemens, Symphony is from Siemens, Symphony, Spice is from Siemens. So this is in the Spice syntax, this is in the Spectre syntax, again you know this is the analog simulator. In the Spectre syntax, this is again analog simulation from Siemens in the spice syntax so we will select spectra as a similar cadence spectra all right then i will select a dot simulation so that it will create in the invocation directory and you can specify the test bench so you know and click ok okay then also make sure that your design is set for you know in order to test library cell and view right then the next step is you have to choose a analysis so here a set of analysis are available they to have a general analysis as well as rf analysis currently we will simulate only the transient analysis up to 10 micro second okay then you need to select uh, some output from this and select this output this output as well as you can select the current and not select the current now now uh, go to variables copy from the same so it's copying so many variables like vdc i will set it as five volts v input five volts okay and temperature it is already set 25 in uh, ade the temperature is at 27 okay that is the only difference now how do you run the netlist netlist 
create and there is a shortcut button as well where you can see you know i0 v1 v0 is not listed and some circuit is not listed in order to some circuit is not listed right now the very next step is just hit run yeah it's uh, okay i forgot to include the model file yeah so you have to go to setup model file and here browse uh, the model models then my model is done please okay so it's done right now it netlist and run button it will run the netlist and it will plot the signal automatically hmm. i think uh, there is some mistake i think my test bench is not not well. yeah instead of hmm. v uh, pulse as well i chose vdc let's change this one to v pulse it's very easy to change okay when initial voltage is uh, 5 volts uh, delay time will uh, set it down 10 under nano then price time is 10 nano fall time is 10 nano pulse with this to micro second add second keep ok and close this then do check and see similar to uh, ad here too you have to do check and see Okay, mm, at least this is this will plant the analog and the uh, input and the output. You can ungroup to see the plant, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, there is a one more mistake right there. Yes, I think, yeah, yeah, this, this one did right? not correct set correctly, I think. Yeah, I'll see this in my process. Yeah, I just examined the way. Period is to my process. Uh, the, the pulse that is supposed to be in my process. You will have to take it. Click apply. Do check and say. Then go to SAE and run the simulations. You will see right. Simulation, you can ungroup this one and see that this is the input. This is output. This is uh, plotted in wave view. So, but I, the cadence uh, uh, is the uh, easy wave, is, looks better for a lot of uh, um, function, calculator function. Okay, then what you can do is you can save this state as something like easy to remember because this is spectra underscore state one right click ok you can close this one close this so then the next time when you open this is the ad state this is a uh, let me rename more that's <clears throat> fine so if you double click on this one or it will run the it will come up all the settings just you hit at least and then it will run okay in the next class what i'm going to teach you is about how to do the analog sorry linux simulation in custom compiler so you have recreate a custom compiler yeah. uh, then you have to set up simulator then you have to select this symphony or symphony spice this is the uh, simulator yeah let me um, create let's let's see if we quit this one this is a we can create a new can be paid. okay. Uh, can go to five new cell view. 
I can say config view. So it will create a config view in synopsis HAD. Okay, not in the okay, this, this is a synopsis too. So, so I'm giving the same name. No, we will not give same name, config underscore CC. Click OK. See, this is part. Then go to and use the template. We will use uh, AMS as the template, right? So, then we will say file save, right? Yeah, but you have to select the view as a schematic. Then it will show you can bring on the schematic. Okay. You have to refer back, you know. How, how did we create in you know, these two buffers in the uh, this one? Uh, all those things you have to you have to check, right? So this is how it's created, and it uses buffer. This buffer and inverted here too. You can change this one to preview. Another. This one, so here you can you can change the bound to very long. This you can make it so very long. The other one is schematic. Similarly, this one is uh, very long. The other one is schematic, right? So you, you save this one, right? Then what you can do is. Uh, Yeah, file. Uh, you can open a CAE first. Okay. You can open a CAE from here. So, tools, a CAE, right? Then, set up design. Let's set up the design instead of schematic. You select config underscore CC, right? Click OK. Okay. Then set up simulator. So we have to select simple. Okay. And the result directory is simulation. Okay. Continue. Then variables copy from design. Same variables. Put the five volts. It also five volts. Then Yeah, I will hit other button. So, what you have to do is uh, set up that. So, currently, mixed signal simulation symphony supports only transient 0.01 transient and DC. Okay, so let's simulate up to 10 microseconds. Then, outputs. And from design, we select these two, these three outputs, two plots, right? Then, so to see the digital signal, what we can do is you can make uh, both of them, you know, very long. Uh, maybe I0 and I1 both. Let me see I0. It is I0, it is I0 and I1, I7. Instances under I7, right? Instance is uh, I7, this is I7. So these two we can make see very dark. Instead of simple. Yeah. Then you can see the yeah. you can see the difference. Yeah, this is schematic. This something to very low. Okay, the one in water is very low. The other one is Both are 
very long, right? This is not that I0 is very long, I1 is very long, right? We will do check and see. Now there is one more thing we need to add is model files. Model files, browse for the model file, go to models, then click on my models, open, click OK, right? So now you know that we set up the simulator as Symphony, right? If this is in the spectra format, so it is running the uh, netlist. This is how the netlist will look like. In the register, it will create a symphony dot configuration that will have a boundary element. Yeah, and I forgot to set one more thing here in this one, which is go to setup uh, symphony. And uh, you can select a digital solver. Here it uses analog solver, is a AFS analog fast spice or digital solar we can set it to costa or xalium or insights or, or synopsis vcs okay here right yeah then go to boundary elements we set up set up boundary and set check the global and make we highest five words as per our supply and click OK, apply, OK, and then in that list, and run, right? Okay, that list on that. Yeah, and this is running the net listing, and it is plotting the simulation. Okay, so you can see this digital, digital plot is plotted here. Right, analog and digital. So this is this is the digital output. It will switch in between zero and one. This is analog input. This is the output. Right, this it is it's plotting in the easy way. Right. So yeah, this is this is the log file, and this is the netlist file where it is not to be the in more model file, then there is including the steps dot SCS file, which is important. And then it is uh, printing all the net listing file length. I uh, the instances of inverter to I1, I0, then the, all the net listing uh, the sources. Okay, this is the boundary element as I said because it, it it required a boundary element connection between analog to digital. Then it has to specify which instances instance is a very long. So this uh, config statement with port con will show which one is the an, uh, digital instance, right? So this is uh, all about uh, uh, mixed signal uh, simulation in uh, custom compiler using Symphony as the simulator not the AMS design okay so you know, from, the, from the cadence it is uh, AMS designer but with this one it is a simulator thank you bye